Hi guys, this is Pastor Prophet Justin Roberts from End of the Age Bible Prophecy. I want to present to you my illustration book about the second coming of Jesus Christ. In it, you're going to find the illustration book slides and you're going to have uh, me voicing over in the form of narration. So I hope you have great revelations from this presentation. God bless you all. Amen. So this chapter is about the seven trumpet judgments. Revelation 8. Trumpet number one, um, it says, uh, the first angel sounded, then there followed hail, fire, mingled with blood, and it was cast upon the earth, and the third part of the trees were burned up, and all green grass was burned up. This is because the throne will be passing through the outer layer of the tail of the throne of God, Nibiru, and will be pelted with meteorites, space rocks, one to eight pounds, and obviously blood, blood that flows from the heavenly um, throne, the altar. Trumpet number two, it says, a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea and the third part of the sea became blood and the third part of the creatures which were in the uh, sea and had life died and the third part of the ships were destroyed. This is because La Palma volcano in the Canary Islands, which is cracked in half, will collapse into the sea and from the nitrogen, from the um, volcano will cause a red tide algae plume but the main thing is it's going to cause a mega tsunami across the Atlantic Ocean um, destroying the countries which uh, line the Atlantic Ocean and this is what would happen to the east coast of America you won't want to be anywhere around the Mississippi this will be a fault line and there's people making prophecies a lot of people about the Great Lakes being brought down um, and America split in half so to speak and it's really possible because that fault line so from New Orleans all the way through up Missouri up to the Great Lakes Detroit down Minneapolis and all that basically everything left of the Ap Appalachian Mountains could literally just crumble so you won't want to be anywhere around there um, the East Coast of America all in red there that is because of one of the coming trumpet judgments number two La Palma volcano collapsing in the sea sending a mega tsunami across the Atlantic Ocean so for the East Coast um, I would just say Appalachian Mountains is the safest haven trumpet number three uh, a third angel sounded and there fell a great star from heaven burning as it were a lamp and it fell upon up on a third part of the rivers and a third part of the fountains of waters and the name of the star is called wormwood and a third part of the waters became wormwood and many men died from the waters because they were made bitter so this is the return of the black death comet poisoning the water supply jumping number four it says the third part of the sun was smit, struck, smit, smitten, third part of the moon, third part of the stars, and a third part of them was darkened, and the day shall not for a third part of it, and the night likewise. This is three days and three, day, uh, three nights of darkness, just like what happened in the Exodus of Moses. And then an angel cries out, woe, woe, distress, distress, distress to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels, which are yet to sound. In other words, uh, distress is going to come at the next three trumpets, which are left. And But the distresses are supernatural. And I'll explain it as we go on. You'll, you'll see a supernatural. That the first four trumpets were all physical and uh, measurable, but there's going to be a supernatural side to what happens next with the next three trumpet judgments, which will actually last until the very end of the age. So this is found Revelation 9. Trumpet number five, the bottomless pit, well, I actually believe is Yellowstone is opened smoke rises from the pit and it darkens the sun and the sky and it says locusts come out from the smoke and on their heads crowns they had faces like men tails like scorpions and stings in the tails like scorpions 
and they torment the people who do not have the seal of God in their foreheads. Now, that is the 144,000. In the first passing of the throne, Revelation 7, the 144,000 were sealed of God on their foreheads. So these locusts do not hurt the 144,000, but everyone else. And they torment them for five months. And the people are so tormented by the poisonous sting of the scorpions that they want to die, it says, but they won't be able to die. And the angel who has control of them, um, Apollyon, Abaddon, which is a d destroyer, sort of God's angel of death kind of thing. He, he's the one who destroyed the firstborn of Egypt. He is the one who has key of the bottomless pit and will also return at the very end of Armageddon to bound Satan in this bottomless pit. So that is the first woe. And what was the supernatural thing about that trumpet? Is that these locusts know because the mark on the foreheads of the 144,000 is not a physical one. It's a spiritual one. Uh, you could say a supernatural one. So these locusts that come out are able to supernaturally see the supernatural mark on the 144,000's head and they leave them alone. That's You can't measure that stuff because it's all supernatural. So trumpet um, number five, which we've just seen, is the first distress. And that carries on for five months. And then the second world comes hereafter, it says. So sometime after. And trumpet number six, four angels are going to get released from the great river Euphrates and they're going to go out to four countries or four empires, which are still a left, not under the new world order, which will be China, Russia, North Korea and Iran, in my view. And they're going to muster up an army of 200 million men, it says, which I believe all them four countries could do. And these are going to be um, armed with tanks and with what it sounds like nuclear warheads on the back of trucks truck mounted uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles with nuclear warheads because it says the lions um, had tails like the missile on the back of the truck uh, the tail was like a serpent straight and the serpent's head was the thing that did the hurt like the head of the nuclear missiles and it says they're prepared for 13 months, uh, an hour and a day and a month and a year to slay. It says one third of the population which are of mankind of the earth, which are left though after the first passing. So don't forget, you've had people saved by God. Two billion would be the ones that are uh, uh, younger than Bar Mitzvah. So, you know, you could have three. 3 billion, 4, be, 4 billion being raptured. So um, it's not one third of 7.5 billion. It's one third of whoever will be left on the earth after the first passing. Revelation 10 is the angel coming down. He delays the seventh trumpet. Mighty angel comes down from heaven, uh, clothed in a cloud, a rainbow upon his head, and a face uh, as it were the sun, and his feet were like pillars of fire. And he swears by him who lives forever and ever, uh, who created the heavens, the earth, the sea, uh, the fountains of water. There will be time no longer that in the days of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God shall be finished, as he declared to his servants, the prophets. So it will all be finished when the seventh angel sounds, which if you remember going back to what uh, the raptures, it doesn't happen until the two witnesses have finished their prophecy. And in fact, in this Revelation uh, 10, he says to John, eat, eat this little scroll up. All right. And John eats it. It's a bit like initiating a prophet. Maybe it's initiating the two witnesses when this angel comes down, you know. And he says, uh, now must prophesy again, um, suggesting that whoever eats these scrolls up, maybe the two witnesses, have already prophesied before. You must prophesy again before many people, nations, tongues and kings. So he's initiating prophets to go out again into the world and preach, but to many countries and nations and languages and kings. 
This chapter is about the second passing of God's throne to battle. Revelation 11. And so the two witnesses will be given power after the temple is built. Um, but before the Antichrist starts his three and a half year reign, just before, these are the two olive trees, the two anointed beings, olive, anointing, tree, a living thing, being, and the two candlesticks, the two spirits of God, out of the seven spirits of God, the same spirits that were given to Moses and Elijah. Uh, so these will be the two witnesses, Vesta and Sarah's Location where they start is unknown. Where they end will be Jerusalem, as it says. So they'll prophesy for 1,260 days. They're going to be killed by the Antichrist, King William. They're going to be raised from the dead after three and a half days. They're going to ascend into heaven on a cloud, which clarifies Jesus Christ's uh, ascension also. And it happens when the two witnesses have been killed. They lie in the street dead for three and a half days. Because of live streaming, Joe Bloggs is able to show people their dead bodies over live stream, um, social media, stuff like that. But after three and a half days, they shall resurrect. But they resurrect three and a half days as a, um, a great earthquake in the same hour. They ascend on a cloud. This is the second and last passing of the throne. They ascend on a cloud and 144,000, I believe, will go with him at that time. Then Jesus will come for the dead. The angel will come for the living. This is the great harvest. And this is all before the seven bowl judgment shall be poured out. The second woe is past. The two witnesses for three and a half years were the second woe. What was supernatural about them? Well, being able to stop the rain by their word, being able to say, if I be a man of God, let fire come down and consume you and fire come down from the sky and consumes their enemies. Turning waters into blood supernaturally, bringing plagues on the dry ground supernaturally. Everything about the two witnesses really is supernatural. This is what makes them the second woe. But it says the third woe cometh quickly. So the... There won't be a break um, between trumpets or anything. There's literally um, the, th the third woe is coming quickly. And this is the second passing, second last passing of the throne. Two witnesses ascend again after three and a half days. They resurrect and ascend on a cloud. In the same hour, bang, Nibiru hits us. Second passing, huge earthquake, lock on, earthquake. And then uh, the seventh angel shall sound his trumpet and Jesus Christ comes on, on a cloud of heaven in Revelation 14 and he reaps the dead, which is the harvest. And an angel comes also having a sickle in Revelation 14 and he reaps the alive, the fruits which are still alive. And then the heavenly temple is opened, it's filled with smoke from the glory of God and the Ark of the Testament, the Ark of the Covenant, uh, the Ten Commandments are seen there. And then the angels come out having um, clothed in white garments and they are given seven bowl judgments. And then when the passing, they pour the seven bowl judgments out and then when the second passing of the throne happens, again, you have them same words. You have the voices and thunders and lightnings and a lock off. But it says here in the scriptures, both in Revelation 11 and in Revelation um, 16, is that it'll be a great earthquake and it'll be the greatest earthquake never has been seen before. And the cities of the nations shall fall and everything else. And then... The earth passes through the inner layer of the tail, which is um, which is great hail, great hail. There's the word difference, not fiery hail like the first passing, but great hail on the second passing. These are approximately 66 pounds and over, about the weight of a talent. Like I said, the second passing of the throne, which we just experienced there, it happens in Revelation 11 at the end of the two witnesses. But it also happens in Revelation 16. Um, this is the end of the second passing. 
And so here's a checklist for the seven trumpet judgments. Trumpet number one, meteorites, one to eight pounds, and blood as the earth passes through the outer outer layer of the tail of the throne of God, Nebero. And so you have fiery hail and blood raining down on the earth. Trumpet number two, La Palma volcano, split but collapses in the sea, generates a mega tsunami across the Atlantic, wiping out like the east coast of America and that. Trumpet number three, the return of the Black Death comet or asteroid, poison the water supply. Trumpet number four will be three days and three nights of darkness, just like days in uh, Exodus. Trumpet number five, the bottomless pit, which I believe is Yellowstone, shall be open, it'll darken the sky, locusts come out and they sting the people who are not the 144,000, supernaturally they'll know, they sting them for five months and people will want to die because the sting's that bad, but it says they cannot die. Trumpet number six, four angels come out of the river Euphrates to Russia, China, North Korea and Iran, they muster up an army of 200 million men uh, all armed with tanks and truck mounted nuclear nuclear missiles and they shall wipe out a third of mankind except for Israel shall survive because it's written off and then the angel delays the seventh trumpet until the time of the end which will be the second passing of the throne uh, two witnesses finish their prophecy they ascend I believe the 144,000 will ascend at the same time the great harvest of the earth happens where the dead and the living are raptured and then the seven bowl judgments can be poured out and that will complete the second passing of the throne and Armageddon will come roughly 45 days after that. I've been past the prophet Justin Roberts from End of the Age World Prophecy. God bless you all for watching this presentation. I um, hope you had great revelations from it. Um, please don't hesitate to give me a contact if you have any questions or queries. And um, God bless you all. Please share this around because the time is short.